Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And I just wanted to bring a, bring this back to your attention. This is, um, to me, an example of Milwaukee not really doing their homework. This is old. I got this many, many years ago. Um, it is a voltage detector that they made. I thought it was kind of a neat little form factor. This thing, it's got one button on the back, turns on a flashlight. There's no choice whether or not the light is on. If this is on, then the voltage detector supposedly works. This little red check is the entire voltage checking. So I can turn it on, lights on. And then as I get it near, you might see that that lights up, maybe barely. Um, it's a little hard to see, uh, and that's kind of the point. And I can't turn the light off, and it doesn't shut off automatically because it's got a hard on-off switch. So if I leave it on, which you can see here, it'll just stay on. Um, versus Kleins, and what got me kind of thinking about this is this is... Um, an NCVT2. This one is not recalled. They had a bunch of recalls on the um, NCVT1s. So if you've got one that looks kind of like this, you might want to check to make sure it's um, it's not one of the recalled ones. If not, you have to send it in to get a new one. Um, but Klein has made really good quality voltage detectors. These are non-contact vol voltage detectors, meaning they pick up the EMP or the kind of the, or not the EMP, the uh, electromagnetic uh, field, EMF, around um, any any active um, electrical movement through a, a circuit. So what this does is you turn it on, it should give you some indication that things are going well. Blue means good. Um, and then this one you notice, you can hear that. It's giving you both a red, like danger, and then an optical beep, or I mean an audible beep. So it's optical and audio. This is another one. You can push the non-contact voltage button, turns it on. I've got a lot of stuff going on here. Here's a spot. You can see it's blue. As I get closer, it picks it up. That's important. So it's giving me both um, audio and visual indications of a live line here. And then here's another, I can turn this one on. This one actually has low to high. Now you might think this is interesting because you saw the whole low to high, but as I get it close, there's only two here. That's because this thing, um, if you look closely, uh, is rated to a thousand volts. So 120 is not that much. So at 12 volts, it'll pick it up, 120 volts, it gives you me two, and then it'll work through, say, 400, 600, 800, 1200, you know, volts. It'll give me a, um, an indication of how strong a current is flowing through there. Um, but anyway, this one also has a, a light that you can turn off independent. It's a separate button. So notice this one's still going strong till the battery wears out. But... What I like about this is it, to me, it's an indication that Milwaukee wanted to enter new spaces and hopefully learn their lesson. I should throw this thing away, this Milwaukee uh, tool away, except it reminds me of the evolution of Milwaukee because they're making some amazing products now, but they started uh, with some pretty poor designs. And this is one of them. With that, Doc out.